Hey, what's up, and welcome to my corner of the internet. So sometimes you run into an anime that you know deserves a good bit of your focus. Sometimes you run into anime that you know for a fact you need to give your undivided attention to. You know that this is an anime that has a reputation, it is appreciated, it is loved, and it is acknowledged as one of the great animes that we will see throughout our entire lifetime. And today, I'm here to talk about an anime that taps into the very spirit of humanity. It does it in such an interesting way that I can't believe it's taking me so long to watch this. And the season two just left us. So I'm super excited and I'm super happy to be late to the party because I have my own thoughts. So let me just tell you right here, right now, I'm talking about Made in Abyss. Made in Abyss is an adventure, dark fantasy, science fiction, and it is by Akihito Tsukushi. It is 13 episodes for the first season, and here we are. This anime follows Rico, an orphaned girl who lives in an orphanage. The world is basically enraptured by this abyss. It's basically this hole in the middle of where she lives and basically everyone mines, looks for relics. There's all sorts of mystery dealing with it. There's consequences, there's curses. The world seems incredibly enraptured within the hole that is the abyss and the abyss has creatures, it has its own dangers and there's so much mystery, so much incredible mystery that Rico, this young girl, her mother is a white whistle which is the highest form of minor expertise that someone could be and she's basically missing leaving this young girl orphaned and spoiler alert well not really spoiler alert because that this is obvious her father is gone but i'm not really necessarily going to tell you why or how anyway whatever i'm just going to let you know made in the best is amazing <laughs> There was no real spoiler here. I There was nothing I could really say bad about this anime. This anime taps into something that I feel like is very understated when it comes to anime that deal with one of the most interesting aspects of human beings. There's one very thing that we don't talk about as human beings, and it's a very natural thing. It's curiosity and courage. These two words are the reason why we are here today, the reason why we have phones, the reason why we're able to live the lives that we live is because someone well before us had the courage and the curiosity and Made in Abyss is scary because it's almost a bit an obsession. It's almost insane how daring you can be and how much danger there can be in this world. And that's something that is so emphasized within this anime that I love it so incredibly much. Besides that, the world is beautiful. The world is interesting, though I do feel like I wish they paid more attention outside of the abyss because only very few moments do they actually like take cognizance of like, hey, there's more out there in the world. And that's just me personally. I just wanted it to be more fleshed out just to understand more of everything that's going on. But hey, it's whatever. Everything is made in abyss. So we're about the made in abyss. But I do love how this anime is realistic about the dangers because throughout the entire like first season it's like this young girl's going on an adventure to somewhere where people like die all the time and everyone warns her of the danger but everyone's kind of just like i mean if you going you going and that was kind of like eh like only like the caretaker was really like uh i'm coming to get you what are you doing I do, some part of me was always wishing or hoping like there was like a time skip, like she could get older and actually go. But I guess when it's time to go, it's time to go, I guess. This anime deserves all the love that it gets. It is violent, it is aspirational, it is filled with so much wonder and joy. I couldn't get over how much it spoke to my adventurous spirit. And that's the crux of this. This anime is about going out there and challenging. It could totally be if I just like reach or stretch, just going out there and challenging the world. And our main character, Rico, 
basically does that. And with the help of her basically mechanical robot friend, Reg, Reg, I'm just gonna say that like that. And they go on adventures. They deal with the harshness of the abyss, and the abyss is that is terrible. And there's a lot of like horrible things that's going on in the abyss. The the mystery of the white whistles, the mystery of her mother. They're all intertwined. I am so excited to watch the second season. You have no idea. I need to know. What is up with all the different white whistles? Because Ozen, yeah, whatever. Love that. Passing on the baton, the sadness of Ozen is a very understated sadness because it wasn't stated, but like it has to feel horrible or at least presuppose or supposed to be like sad to think sh they possibly outlived their protege and that's sad to me that is incredibly sad to me but i also love the creatures i love how there's just so much mystery and i can't wait to see the answers to this and i'm so glad i did not watch the anime because i could not wait to think about these mysteries and have them solved so i'm super excited to watch made in the abyss in the near future this anime is great it's one of the good ones this is one of the ones that like i'm super excited i watch because made in the abyss is damn near a five out of five though there is one issue like one i mentioned earlier with i wish they waited so like i guess Rico could be more useful to Reg. Like, it just doesn't feel like she is useful. Like, she doesn't necessarily, like, she's pretty much useless. And I kind of dislike that. Like, it's her grand desire that makes them go, sure. But the uselessness when, like, a creature comes up, it it's kind of an, but here's the thing. I have a thing against useless main characters. I'm not going to lie to you. And she's useless, but she has this obsession, she has this go, she has this power within her that just says, I'm going to do this without a shadow of a doubt. I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to keep trying. I will make it to the bottom of the abyss, even though there's a possibility of losing your humanity, which is such a crazy curse when you think about it. And also, let me introduce, sorry, I forgot. The abyss, basically every single layer, except for like, one has basically if you go back up too quickly you literally can get a curse and the curse gets worse and worse the lower you get and that is insane and it's so interesting to see how this is like you know what it feels like it feels like watching human history a lot of people don't realize within human history or maybe we just don't think about it enough is someone had to try that first to get to another place and the knowledge passed on between human to human is like the building blocks of where we are today. Like someone had to try the poisonous berry. Someone had to try the actual good food. Someone had to figure out, oh, I should cook this. Oh, I should fry this. There is so many different things that we probably don't even recognize that had someone have to do it first. Someone had to go through that. So we don't got to go through that. And Made in Abyss is an adventure. An adventure where it makes us question how hard are we ready to obsess how much are we willing to sacrifice to move forward for our goals our curiosity and how much of our courage is really going to be there when we need it and made in the abyss asks that question and it and inspires me to think about my own life in that way so if you've never seen made in the abyss this is your moment go watch this fam this this is deep and also some trigger warnings. There is some hard scenes in this anime. Though, it wasn't as dark as I, well, it's dark, but like, I don't know. It seems tame. It's not as dark as what I thought it was, I guess, in my mind. Like, I don't know, but maybe I'm jaded because I read seinen all the time or I'm just like, it, it, listen, all I'm saying is it's dark, but I think you can manage, though there are some really hard scenes. But anyway, this is a wonderful anime. This is like five out of five without a shadow of doubt. And I'm super excited to watch the second season. But anyway, peace. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day.